Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today on the Unimat SL1000, uh, we're going to try some fly cutting. I don't know if that's been done before or not, but uh, we're going to give it a shot here. Uh, what I've done here, um, I've went ahead and uh, indicated down uh, two, two plus thousandths of an inch. It's about as close as I could get uh, with the little rack and pinion that they got here. So uh, we're going to hope that it's not too deep. I don't think it will be, but uh, here we go. Uh, this will be climb uh, cutting here. Speed is uh, approximately 685 RPMs by the chart. Uh, starting to make checks now. As you see, um, very nice finish. Uh, this is what I believe to be 6061 aluminum. Um, it, like I said, it was just over uh, two thousandths uh, cut, uh, climb cutting uh, with a, <laughs> I never use them, but right off of the shelf, a, an aluminum, an AL6 um, raised carbide bit on there. Uh, I did nothing to the geometry at all and uh, I'll say um, yeah, you can even feel a ridge or anything. Um, quite quite nice um, and that is in the climb mill. Uh, I will try the um, conventional mill and see uh, how that finish turns out as well. Stand by. Okay we're back at it here. Um, so we're in the uh, conventional milling mode here with the same setup. Uh, the only thing that's changed here is the closest I could get was three thousandths. This thing's like really fidgety uh, with depth uh, due to the rack and the fineness of it and all that. But let's go ahead and run it. It's a chip cleaner. Now this is without any colon or anything, so I'm not expecting uh, excellent results, but we'll see when it gets over on the other side of here. Melon with a fly cutter on a uh, way too small of a machine with a uh, three thousandths cut. Uh, cannot complain. I could feel a little bit of a ridge in there, but um, other than that, um, it did the job. Well, um, so yes, the Unimat SL1000 will be uh, able to uh, fly cut. Thanks for watching. <laughs>